So former anchor Katie Keurig telling Bill Maher what she thinks motivates Trump supporters. Watch. Class resentment is a lot what, and anti-intellectualism and elitism is what is driving many of these, these anti-establishment, which are Trump voters, right. or anti-establishment voters. But doesn't that sound similar to another insult of Trump voters back in 2016? You could put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. The racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic, you name it. You name it. Here to react, Fox News contributor Tammy Bruce. Um, mm. They don't learn. <laughs> well, you know, what's interesting is I, not only they don't learn because they don't hear themselves. Mm. They're so separate from real life, from regular people. I don't know if Katie Cork realizes that by saying they're anti-intellectualism, that there's class resentment. She's calling them dumb mm. and jealous of her, apparently, or people like her. So th they'll continue to lose if they j can't even move and look up for one moment at people other than themselves, people who are different. Clearly, if you're a journalist, if you're, you should be a curious person wondering what has made Donald Trump uh, the favorite of tens of millions of Americans. Now, if you don't want to face your own failures, if you don't want to think that you are superior to everyone, which is what our elite tends to do, not all of them, but there's a sense that they know better, that they're better than everyone else, that they're the smarter ones, they should be in charge. If you were to acknowledge that tens of millions of Americans think differently than you and might be right, that eliminates your entire your own identity, your entire theory of government, and why you matter. That's why some of these people, like Katie Couric and Hillary Clinton, simply uh, have contempt, I think, for people other than themselves. Tammy, what is the appeal? You got this rich guy that you have all these middle class, even poor people, mm -hmm. that are supporting. I mean, look at him coming to Harlem yesterday yeah. and, and the streets being packed. Yeah, well, I think that that's also another good example of what America represents. You can be anyone, and you can have empathy. You can you can love the country. You can love your neighbor. It's not that if you get successful or rich or upper middle class that you suddenly get detached. That's not what happens to people. And I think that that's what he represents. And there's there's a dynamic, I think, and especially, look, with two women leading the way to smear people for who they are. That's what happened to women, that we were told, as were people of color, that you can't be in charge, mm -hmm. you can't have that job, you can't be taken seriously because you're not smart enough, or you can't think properly, or you're different than us. Mm -hmm. And now to have two powerful women and others on the left, other women on the left, saying the same thing now, about other Americans is shameful. The person, this is why you got to judge people by as, as individuals. And that's what Trump is showing us, is the fact that love of country can transcend everything else. And he recognizes that what he has is a result of this nation. You have that, I have that. We love the country no matter how you started. You have that chance. These elites, oh, they don't want to believe that. Because, of course, we're not as good as they are. But we are. We are. We might, you know. We're Americans first. That's right. Well said, Tammy Bruce. Thanks so much. Thank you, sir. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.